What is up guys, it's time for another Horror Pack, your fan mail, and Rumorg Magazine. Let's do this. What's up guys, it's time for another drum box. Uh, I always like doing these, they're kind of laid back, but uh, also I got my, my B-roll footage right there too, so that way if I got something that I want to give you a little bit closer look, then I'll put it at the B-roll. But uh, also, a couple things I wanted to, th this is how I, I do it, I, I put my notes right on here, so things I won't forget. Okay, first thing, uh, you see I'm wearing uh, an F Off Wade t-shirt, you can get one of those at the Drum Dumb store. I believe there's a link in the info box, but um, also, I wanted to give a shout out to Brian Rose who posted this picture on Killer Flicks. Uh, he got him an F Off Wade t-shirt. There's two different designs. There's this one and then the one that he's wearing that actually has F Off Wade behind Wade's head. Uh, but you can get these in any color too. So if you want to get the, the one with less profanity, even though the F is like behind his head so you can't see it anyway, then it's your choice. There you go. Also, uh, another thing is I've recently started putting all my gear, like links to my gear, in my info box. So if you look in the info box down there, you can see what kind of camera I'm using or like the latest version of it. Because mine's a Canon T5i and I believe I have the, the, the Canon T7i on there because the T5i, I don't even know if you can buy it new anymore, but they're both Rebels. I'm a Canon Rebel user, so there's that. And my, and I'll show you this right here, my uh, record player, my tech play record player, I, I get a lot of people asking me what kind of record player do you use? And it's a tech play. And so I have an Amazon affiliate link down there for that too. But like I said, all my gears down there, go down there, check it out. If you want to buy it, then go to Amazon. Helps out the channel too, so thanks. Uh, another shout out, uh, before we get into the horror pack, a good military buddy of mine, probably my best friend in the military, Dave Galbraith. Uh, I call him Metal Dave. Everybody calls him Metal Dave. We're both metalheads. And we went to like Rockville together one year. But uh, I recently talked him into jumping on the whore pack. And he just got his first whore pack and he said he loves it. So I think he bought the, the annual package. So he's going to get whore pack for the whole year, monthly. But one thing I did find out through that is that you don't get 10%, you get $5 off. That's how it works. So you can use the code drumdums now too because before i guess you couldn't use the code drumdums i don't know why but now you can use the code drumdums and you can get a five dollar uh, discount from them and then lastly um i do a weekly live stream every thursday night dd live weekly i took a break last week but this thursday it's coming back on my last one i think i i said wouldn't it be cool to see a a michael myers inspired xenomorph because I think it was on the Alien one, and I was talking about the Alien franchise. And wouldn't it be cool if they actually put Myers' face on a Xenomorph? And I said, I'd, it'd be cool if somebody could draw that. So, anyway, uh, this Instagram user sent me this literally right before I recorded this. And they drew this picture that you see right here. Sure enough, there is a, a Myers on the front of Xenomorph. The name is um, You're Standing on It Dude. So I'm going to give them a follow back actually right now so oh my god i'm the 666th sixth user or, or <laughs> follower of this uh this instagram page i can't talk to that jesus so i'll put their instagram stuff up here too so you'll know it's like 120 122nd and an eighth you're standing on it dude so looks like a cool page though for sure as a matter of fact yeah they posted the uh the, that right here big fan of drum dumbs youtube channel and listen to his live stream sometimes while i'm working on my art this will be in my next unbox video period shouting you out right now period now let's jump into the horror pack horror pack is a monthly service uh you pick dvds you pick blu-rays you pay the monthly fee or you can do the annual like my buddy dave did and they come right to your door there are limited editions um Movies that you will only get, or editions of movies that you'll only get through the horror pack, which is cool. And I always find movies uh, that I haven't seen, that I've been wanting to see, and I plan on buying, and I don't have to buy it because it's right here in the horror pack. Uh, you're going to see some upper crust stuff. You're going to see some indie type stuff, which is nice. Anyway, um, Dave told me this is a good one, too. So let's see if Dave's right. Okay. First one. Hell yeah, he's, Belko Experiment is badass. And I, I can't believe, I haven't bought this movie yet, so there you go, it's perfect. 
Um, yeah, I reviewed this one a while back, but Office Space, uh, Office Space meets Battle Royale. And this is a really bloody movie. It's fun as hell. And uh, it's just fun. It's fun horror. It's psychotic horror. Next one is, uh, this is the Horror Pack Limited Edition. Like I said, you'll get one of these every month. It's called Cruel Will. Cruel Will. There you go, Cruel Will. Uh, it looks pretty crazy. Tragedy strikes married couple Lily and Paul when her father dies. Lily brings home the urn housing her father's cremated remains, forcing Paul to, on a daily basis, face his despised father-in-law. Soon after, the lid in the urn mysteriously disappears and Paul begins to experience unearthly events, which, like a twisted joke, only he can see. So it sounds interesting. Next one is, uh, it's a two-pack. Priest and Legion. I actually have the 3D version of Priest. I don't have Legion. Big fan of Paul Bettany, though. Uh, he's married to Jennifer Connelly, actually. I'm also a big fan of hers. But, uh, yeah, this looks like a fun little two-pack. Priest is good, actually. It's a good little vampire movie. Legion, I, I saw it once, and I don't remember it that well. It's like an angel action movie. Like, he's an angel in Legion. So he's an angel and a vampire. So Paul Bettany. Yep, and there's what it looks like on the B-cam. Nice stuff. Okay, uh, and then finally, Insidious, which uh, I do own Insidious, so what I usually do is on my Patreon live streams, we'll do some kind of uh, giveaway, and I'll usually uh, uh, give these movies away that I already have. You know, I'll do some kind of contest or something like that. Like, we actually did one on the last Patreon live stream um, uh, where I gave away a two-pack uh, for the fog and the howling and then Beth Beth S. she gave away like a vinyl for weird science Wyatt and Gary they put them with girls that had the same color hair as each of them are you guys ready for the question or what come on 12 inch original single of weird science okay I'm getting some yeses a lot of yeses coming in sweet all right here we go give me the name of the club that they go to with Lisa, the, the club that Lisa first goes to with Wyatt and Gary. What is the name of that club? And it was a lot of fun. Uh, weird thing is, like, I was looking back through my Patreon live streams because they're, they're exclusively with my patrons when it's live, but then after I make it public so everybody can see it. And the Evil Dead 2 one, for some reason, creeped up to like almost 20,000 views. I can't explain this shit, but that never happens. Usually they peter out around like two, 3,000 views. But sometimes crazy stuff like that happens with YouTube. You can't explain it. Um, to talk about Rue Morgue, I haven't gotten the latest issue yet. I know that they're in the process of shipping them out right now, but I wanted to give a plug because um, Rue Morgue is just a really cool magazine. And once I get the new one, I'll put it in the next unbox, but I still wanted to give a, a plug for them because um, there's not that many great horror mags out there, but I can safely say Rue Morgue is definitely uh, one of the best. Uh, because each month it's like a different theme and they like to showcase uh, independent horror. They like to showcase bigger, you know, the big budget uh, movies. Y you're going to see it all in here. But there's like a section for like artists and whatnot. But I like this one because this is the Candyman issue. And I'm really looking forward to the new Candyman movie when it comes out. But yeah, just some really great stuff in this magazine. But like I said, one of my favorite sections is like the Fright Gallery. Because I just like to look at horror art. I don't know, there's something so cool about horror art. There's so many great artists out there. And they like to showcase that. But anyway, uh, when the new one comes in, I'm going to show it to you guys, okay? Maybe I'll do like one of these live one time too. That, that could be kind of cool. You know, do a live horror pack, room morgue, something like that. Could be awesome. Okay, this is exciting. Jumping into the fan mail now. Just going to grab the first one. Garrett Vincent. Uh, Garrett, I see him on uh, Instagram all the time uh, he jumps into my live streams sometimes but uh really cool dude and he's a big fan of music like i am that's one thing i'm doing in my live streams too is i like to include a section to just talk about music we've been given a lot of kiss love lately it's a disc oh cool he, he sent me the house that jack built which is a movie that i have been wanting to watch but for some reason i never got around to it lars von trier very, very controversial director. Antichrist, that movie will completely jack you up. And uh, no pun intended, I guess the house that Jack built. So, uh, big Matt Dillon fan too. I think he was so freaking funny in There's Something About Mary. 
Oh my God, I can't get enough of that movie. And he stole the show. He really stole the show. Deuce, deuce and a half. Five kids, but no rock. Thank you, Garrett. That was awesome, man. Next one from Jason Mallory, which I believe Jason sent me one in the last one too. Let me see. So I got this pen here. It's a Friday the 13th pen. I'm gonna put it over here so you guys can see it. Maybe, maybe it'll come in. I'm not sure. Uh, Stephen King's The Stand. This is a movie I heard a lot about. Has a lot to do with like viruses. What's going on today? A lot of people have been mentioning this movie actually. The Stand. Been meaning to, to, to finally watch that one too. And I got this letter here. It says, Dear Drum Dums, I really enjoy your videos. The effort you put into those videos is amazing. I'm sending a Michael Myers mask vinyl since he's your favorite horror icon. I like him too, but my favorite is Jason Voorhees. Naturally. Um, I'm also sending... I'm just kidding. I'm glad you... Everybody loves Jason Voorhees. I always... Those people that they see uh, Michael Myers when I'm like trick-or-treating and they call me Jason, they drive me nuts. Um... I'm also sending you a DVD of Stephen King's The Stand. I thought you could do a review on it. I've also sent you a Jason Lives patch. Friday the 13th pin and an encouragement card. Bless, blessings to you, Lee Jason Malley. Thank you, Jason. This is uh, the Michael Myers vinyl, I think. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's like a Myers face. Let me see if you can make that out. Yeah, there you go. Kind of cool looking. So it's a decal that you can pretty much put on any surface. So maybe I'll find a nice spot for it but I dig that. Thank you. Okay, next up, uh, let's see what this, this is from bestbuy.com. What could this be? Now this is, this could be something I ordered. I'm not sure. Let me see. Hold on. No, no, this is actually trick. Um, one of my subscribers said he was going to send this to me actually. So I'm having trouble finding who exactly it was that sent me this. Um, I get a lot of DMs and so I, and I don't want to say the wrong name. Uh, so if you could in the comments or send me a DM, let me know and I'll make sure I give you a shout out on the uh, next unbox or on an upcoming video. Okay. Because I definitely want to give you credit, but thank you so much for that. Looking forward to watching that. I like Patrick Lussier actually. Okay. I got something here. This is from Christina Trunk. Now this is from, um, it says walgreens.com. So wh whoever handled the mail on this, you're an a-hole. I mean, it got all dented up in here and everything. This is the way I got it from the mailbox. So, okay, not saying that it came from Walgreens because it feels like it could be a VHS tape. So this is, this is brand new. This is a brand new copy of Nighthawks, which is a very underrated Stallone flick, actually. So thank you so much, Christina. This is badass, actually. I mean, it's a brand new copy of Nighthawks. I just remember the scene where like his partner gets killed, Billy Dee Williams, or I think he gets killed. Did I spoil that? But uh, he's uh, he's like, you're effing dead and he keeps screaming it over and over. That, that's a scene that really sticks out. But Rugger Howard's in this, uh, who is awesome as any villain. Okay, next up, this is from my good friend Beth S. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, B-Side Records, definitely check it out. She's really into like vinyl, retro type stuff which of course i'm into you guys are into and uh it's just so cool to see that vinyl's like making a comeback and uh you know i'm like obsessed with my like i got the the thing yeah the the thing vinyl right there i just i love matter of fact i'll put this on in the background Yeah, Ennio Morricone's score, there's a lot of cues in here that I didn't um, remember from the movie until I heard them on the score. And I was like, oh my God, I, there's all this great music in that movie. And the one thing that people always remember is the doom, 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 you know, that. but there's so much more to the score than just that. So it's a great score though, but I'll have it playing in the background for the rest of this. Okay. So anyway, I, I, I have a feeling this is some vinyl goodness in here. Okay, got some nice records in here. First one coming out. This is, oh, this is Def Leppard Pyromania. One of the highest selling like hard rock albums ever too, by the way. Rock of Ages. This is pre when uh, Rick, I'm trying to remember his last name. Rick Allen, yeah, when he uh, lost his arm. The drummer, one arm drummer. But uh, this is a phenomenal album. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. I, I, you know, I'm not that big into live albums because certain artists aren't that great live. But Bob Seger 
is the exception. I think if you listen to Bob Seger, I prefer him live, actually. So this will be nice uh, in the background when I'm like, uh, you know, doing whatever. But yeah, Bob Seger's awesome. Oh my God, this is one of the highest selling albums of all time. Look at that cover too. ACDC, Back in Black, not a bad song on this. Oh God. Now if I had to pick an underrated ACDC album, I love Fly on the Wall, actually. I think Fly on the Wall is not talked about enough. And I mean, Shake Your Foundations, Playing With Girls, there's so many great songs on Fly on the Wall. But uh, I mean, everybody talks about Back in Black, rightfully so. It's a masterpiece of an album, actually. First album after um, Bon Scott died. So when you hear the bells at the beginning, that's all for him. Next one. Oh my God, now you're after my heart. Holy crap, Van Halen, 1984, this. You know, I'm glad she sent this album too because one of the questions in my last live stream was, let me turn this down. Favorite drummers. One that I forgot to mention was Alex Van Halen. I love his playing style, but mostly I love the way his kit sounds. Like certain drummers, their kit has a certain sound and it's in every album. It, it actually has, you know, like the, from the toms to the snare to the cymbals, everything has a certain sound to it. And I don't know how he mics his kits, but man, Alex Van Halen, powerful drummer too. And he always has massive drum sets. But this album, this album, Jesus, this freaking album is so great. Hot for Teacher, I'll Wait. I love, I'll Wait's probably the most underrated Van Halen track ever, by the way. Yeah, great stuff. God, thank you so much, Beth. And I got one more, one more. Oh my God, this Kiss Double Platinum. Jesus. I mean, this is probably the best Kiss Greatest Hits album out there, too. I mean, this, this Pound for Pound has all the good stuff on it. And this is a vinyl album that I had when I was really, really young, probably in my like early teens. And now I finally have it back in my collection, thanks to my good friend, Beth. God, you're so awesome, Beth. Jesus. I mean, this was, this was like Christmas. This was like Christmas. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, I got one more big one here. It's, it was really heavy. As a matter of fact, I'm glad I have this. It's that big box right there. So I'm gonna open it up. Open it up right here. You can see me cutting it right now. It's a massive box. It's really heavy. Okay, so I got this card right here. I'll read that after because I want to be surprised. I want to see what this is and I want to give credit to whoever sent this. I mean, this is really heavy, guys, okay? And it's it's a big box inside of this bag. I had a feeling, I, I saw on the side what it is and I had a feeling just because of the weight of it. It's a case of Monster. And it's, I'm glad they sent the zero sugar too because I'm trying to cut down on all the sugar. Uh, and it's the, it looks like the blue monster, but oh my God, thank you so much. And let me open up this letter here and see who sent this or if it even says it. Uh, it says, Haley, these are my favorite energy drinks. They will save you 200 calories per stream. I like them because they have, oh, this is from Mikey Weiss. Mikey is awesome, and he's a fitness instructor. Um, his Instagram channel, which I'll put uh, a link for it in the info box, and I'll put it right here, up like a picture from it, but it's like Mind Over Matter Lifestyle, I think it's called. But uh, love seeing your channel grow. Cheers and major support, brother Mikey Weiss. Mikey's a good friend. I consider him a really good friend. And this is awesome. Thank you so much, Mikey. You are the man, brother. You know what, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna taste it right now, okay? Even though it's not like cold, it's, it still feels like room temperature, which is kind of like 70 degrees. So I'm gonna try this right now, okay, Mikey? It's exactly what I need. It's really good, actually. And it gives me that nice energy boost. Hell yeah. And this is, this is, this is like warm, so I can imagine how it's gonna taste when it's cold. Like it's not warm, but you know what I mean. Anyway, guys, that's it. Nice long drum box for you guys, but uh, I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Uh, I'll see you guys next Thursday on the live stream. I always look forward to hanging with you guys. Thank you for all the nice fan mail, Beth S. God, thank you so much for those vinyls. Really nice. Anyway, guys, 
Uh, be sure to come over to Killer Flix where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do Free Fire Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and Drum Dum out.